Okay, so I went ahead and did two more. And now I will make one that will be the consistency of a saw. It, a slight crunch, but a little powdery. All right, this going to be quick. I'm telling y'all, this is how much water I will use. About that much. I will use about that much water. That's it. Still a lot of white baking soda around here, yes. But what I would do is mix the rest of it by hand until it all became a little putty. And then I would tightly press it down. You can see this is not the right instrument or technique to make the texture. So I guess I should do a completely different video. But I would keep mixing this by hand until it becomes a nice little putty. And then I would press it down really hard. And that would get the texture where it'll be crunchy on the outside. It's not falling apart if you pick it up. But the insides will still burst into powder once you bite into it. Or if you were trying to use it like for crunch videos just to break it up. I will use literally a half a... Half a... Tea. A half a cap full of water. But that's for y'all. That's for another video. This is all trial and error. I've made 50 plus batches of baking soda before I found the consistency that I like. I like it to be hard, but not like, oh, this not going to break. Like the water bottle method, it's, it's kind of too hard for me. I do it because it's pure, pure form, pure taste. Sometimes I'm in the mood to have baking soda so hard that it stresses me out and feel like it's going to break my teeth. So sometimes I'm in the mood for it, but not on a daily I wouldn't be able to eat nothing that hard. But I do like it hard, though. I guess on a scale from 1 to 10, I like about a six and a half, seven hardness on average. I don't like anything under 5. Nothing under 5. I don't like anything powdery at all. Well, I mean, I do like to add powder on top of my chunks when I'm eating it. But I don't know. That's just because it makes me feel good on the inside. Why I do that? I don't know. I always go back and stir them again, but that's just because I got OCD. Not because it's doing anything or changing it or helping it. It's just delaying how long it's going to take for it to dry because all the baking soda that has solidified, now I'm just mixing it all back up. It's already as much water as can go in it. So it's no, it's never any reason for me to go back and re-stir all these. No reason at all. And I still can't help to do it because my OCD. And I had, I had to say that out loud because um, <laughs> I'm trying to make myself stop doing it, but I, I can't. I literally cannot. Oh, let me re-stir it and make it all soft again when it was already 
becoming solidified. Stop it. Stop doing it. Stop it. All right, all right, all right. And then normally stuff around here I don't really worry too much about. I think I'll start worrying more about it since I'm trying to make YouTubes for y'all. I don't want to look all messy, but I seriously don't be worried about that. Um, these are, I guess, medicine cups. It's recently been making my favorite mold. And I have only got this to show y'all. So, this is normally, um, this is how these turn out. And this is how these turn out. So, you can see this is a whole large cup full of baking soda. And it reduces all the way down to these. And I fill these all the way up about this thick. And it reduces down to this much. Now, if you only use a little bit of water, or if you were trying to make something to break up, your baking soda will go so much further because so much wouldn't disintegrate with the excessive amount of water that I used. But you know what it is. 